All right, everyone. Uh, welcome to Wismo Technologies. This is Malik Hajan here. Uh, quickly, I'm going to demonstrate on how, as a Oracle DBA, we are going to set up our bash profile, environmental bash profile, so that every time when we log into Oracle user, we can easily connect or you can easily access our database without setting manually the environmental variables. Right, so let's get on to the, my lab. Here I have Oracle Lab 1. So a simple basic questions. Whenever a Oracle DBA log into the server, how to connect to database? We usually use OS authentication to connect to database. So OS authentication in the sense, so since I'm at a root user now, I can do ID. So they're going to tell me root user. I can check who is my Oracle owner. Right now, Dave DB is my database, and for that database, the owner, the Oracle owner, is a Oracle user. So as a DBA, once I log into that server, I can log into the respective owner for this Dev DB database. Oracle is the owner. I'll just do su dash Oracle, or even sometimes you might be knowing Oracle user and the password. You can directly connect to that host or the IP address using a direct Oracle user and password. If you have root access, you can do switch user. Or if you have your own individual ID, you can do sudo su and hyphen Oracle. So multiple ways to connect to Oracle user directly with the username and password. With the root user, directly do switch user and Oracle. Or with own your individual IDs, you can do sudo su and then log into that Oracle user. So multiple ways to connect to Oracle user. Right. Now you logged in as a Oracle user. Oracle user is the owner of your Oracle database, DevDB. So now you don't need of any database level username and password. You can directly use a OS authentication and connect your database using SQL plus slash sysdba. But if I run this command, this is not going to work out. It's going to say that SQL plus, I don't know what is this command. Meaning I have not set my environmental variable to source all the Oracle variables, all the Oracle environmental settings. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do dot what I envy. I'm going to run this dot space what I envy Oracle environmental variables, which is going to ask me what is the SID, the database instance ID. So Dave DB is my database instance ID. So once I set a Dave DB as a Oracle SID, so it's going to automatically set my Oracle home. If I see right now what all the Oracle environmental variables are exported, I can do ENV grep capital Vara. That will tell Oracle SID is this one. Oracle base is user on app Oracle and Oracle home is user on app Oracle product 19C DB home one. So how come this particular Oracle base and Oracle home is set? Even I set only, I given past only Oracle SID as a dev DB and automatically I set my base and Oracle home. That is because of the entry in ETC or a tab file. In the ETC or a tab file, I have a dev DB and who, what is the associated Oracle home? The moment you pass this dot or INV and then the pass this dev DB as an instance name, automatically the base and automatically the Oracle home, everything will be set because of this Vara tab entry. So if you don't have Vara tab entry and then manually it's gonna ask you enter Oracle home details as well. You have to pass the Oracle home details. Fair enough. Now I have logged into Oracle user, su dash Oracle, and then I ran this dot or INV. I set the Oracle environmental variable here. Now I can simply use this SQL plus SHDBA and then that's gonna connect to my Oracle database SQL command prompt. Again, I'll just log out and again, I'm gonna log out. I'll go back to root user and then from the root user, again, if I do SC Oracle, again, I logged into Oracle user and then again, try to connect to my database. Again, it's not gonna work because every time when we log into Oracle user, each time I need to run this dot INV and then pass my SID details that gonna set my Oracle environmental variables. After that, I can able to use this SQL plus SSDBA so that I should be able to connect to my SQL command prompt for that DevDB database. So every time when I log into that Oracle user running this dot INV, setting this environmental variable is a tedious job for DBS. So how to avoid this one? So how to avoid this one? As I said, these are the environmental variables. So these are the environmental variables so these are my environmental variable, Oracle SID, Oracle base, Oracle home. Along with that, there are a few more variables. I can export all of them, put them into a bash profile so that whenever I log into Oracle user, I no need to run every time this dot or INV and set the Oracle environmental variable. 
the moment I log into Oracle user, automatically batch profile will be set. So let's say I can quickly get a list of those variables. My Oracle SID is here, DevDB. My Oracle base is here. User on app Oracle. My Oracle home is here. And my LD library path, that's a library executable path that will be under Oracle home lib. And my class path, that's a Java path. So that will be Oracle home JRE and Oracle home JLib and Oracle home RDBMS JLib. These are my Java executable libraries. That's a class path. And then path equal to path and appended with Oracle home and bin. So all the SQL plus RMA and all the command will be exported from this particular path. So these are my environmental variables. I can export all of them here, copy this command, go back to my command terminal. So log out and login. So now I log into Oracle user. I'm not gonna do dot env. I'll run these all commands one by one. I can do copy paste everything in one chart. So all of them are exported here. Now I can use this SQL plus and then it's gonna connect to my database without any issue. So again, every time when I log into Oracle user, exporting these commands manually, again, tedious job for DBS. I don't want to do this one. Because of that, we came up with that bash profile. The Linux provided utility called bash profile, where we can set all these variables in the bash profile so that we no need to do this manual export. We no need to run this dot .orinv manually, set all the environmental variables again and again whenever you log into that Oracle user. Right, so for that, each Oracle user ID, right now I'm to Oracle user, there's a one hidden file called bash dot bash underscore profile. So this is the dot bash profile. Do VI and that, and then go at the end of the line, and then put all these variables, whatever I exported here. These are all variables. I can put it over here. And then I can save this file. So validate whether the whatever we added all or looks good or not. So I do cat bash profile, my SID, my Oracle base, Oracle home, LD library path, class path, and path. So everything is set properly. So now I can quickly exit from Oracle user. I'm at root user. Now I can log into Oracle user. The moment I log into Oracle user, SU dash Oracle, this Oracle user is gonna run this bash profile. And in this batch profile, we have set these variables. These variables are already set. So I can quickly verify using dot. So env grep capital ORA. So all these environmental variables are set now. So I no need to export again. I no need to run that dot ORA env again. I can simply use SQL plus slash sysdba. I'm able to connect to my database. That's a, one of the use case. You want like, let's say, I can directly take a new session, duplicate session, take a duplicate session. I'll directly log into Oracle user. And then I can enter the password for that Oracle user. The moment Oracle user logged in here, automatically environment variables are set here. I can do env, grep capital ORA. So all the environment variables are set. I can simply connect SQL plus slash as this DBA. So I'm able to connect to my database. That's a powerful use case of why bash profiles plays very, very important role when it comes to a DBA day-to-day -day activities. So it's gonna avoid a lot of manual effort on manually setting all the environmental variables every time when we log in with Oracle user. All right guys, that's a simple demo on this bash profile use case. Let's explore more on our next session with the multiple use case and multiple approaches on this bash profile when you have multiple instances, multiple Oracle home, multiple databases, how you can enhance this bash profile use case and then how we can make use of this. Let's catch up in our next session, guys. Thank you.